Number 79, D5W is a solution used as an intravenous fluid. So it's an IV fluid if, you, if someone goes to the hospital. It is a 5.0% bimass solution of dextrose. So it's a sugar, just a saline sugar solution, right? And dextrose is basically glucose, C6H12O6, and it's in water. If the density of D5W is 1.029 grams per milliliters, calculate the molarity of dextrose in the solution. Okay, so what did they give us? They told us that we have dextrose, which is basically sugar, C6H12O6, and we have a 5% mass solution of that, and we also have a density value, but they want us to find the molarity. Well, remember guys, that molarity is equal to something divided by something else, right? And maybe I'll just, there we go. Now, usually we say moles over liters, but in this case, I'm gonna extend it a little bit. I'm gonna give the full, um, definition here, right? So it's moles of solute divided by liters of solution. Now, the solute is the piece that goes with the solvent to make a total solution. So a solute is a part, the solution is the whole. Now, they told us a lot of things here. They said that the D5W was the solution. And the D5W is made up of dextrose and water. You're putting the sugar, the dextrose, into the water, that's the solvent, and together, dextrose plus water is the solution, aka D5W. But they didn't tell me anything about this. They didn't tell me the moles of the dextrose. They didn't tell me how many liters of the D5W we have. All we have is a density and a percent by mass. So... I'm gonna hold off on this for now because there's literally nothing we can do. So let's work with something else. I'm gonna work with this percent mass, right? Now, percent mass or any percent is just a part divided by a whole. Now there is a specific uh, percent mass solution formula and it is this one. I'm gonna put this maybe over here. But if you notice, if it's a percent by mass and that's what they said, both the part and the whole have to be in mass, AKA grams, okay? But if you've noticed, for percent mass, I have a solute divided by a solution, and if I go back to my molarity, I have solute divided by solution. Oh, okay, so we're getting a little bit closer. We have this relationship that's kind of the same with this, but the difference is that they're different units. It's gram and gram, as opposed to mole and liter. But let's see if we can, you know, get some numbers out of this. Now, the only thing that they told us was 5%, right? So I have 5.0 equals something over something else times 100. Now, maybe I can put values in for the numerator and the denominator to get it to equal five. Well, let's work with this 100. Right? Technically, I don't want this 100 anymore. I want to cancel it out. So if I have a 100 in the numerator, because technically that's just a number, I would have to have a 100 down here to cancel it out. And if I do have a 100 down here to cancel the, the other 100 out, what number would be here to make it equal to 5.0? Yeah, you got it. It's, it has to be the same number. So I'll put 5.0. And now look at that. Now we have the mass value for both the solute and the solution, the solute and the solution. So for my solute, I have five grams. And remember it's dextrose into water to get D5W. The solute is going to be the dextrose, which is C6H12O6 but I need to get it into moles in order to use it in my molarity formula. So I just have to do a quick conversion here. Not, nothing too scary. And then down here for the solution, we now have 100 grams. And that's the, you know, uh, 
That's the dextrose plus the water. But we just have to convert it into liters. Okay. Let's do this top conversion first. We've done this many times. We're just going from grams of one compound to moles of the same compound. That's through the periodic table, right? If you want, we could set up the, the relationship just to kind of um, see it through. C6H12O6, right? We multiply by a ratio where we put the unit that we don't want on the opposite side. And we want moles of C6H12O6. And remember, if you're using the periodic table, and that's what we're using, right? You always have one mole. So wherever the word mole is on that conversion, you put one. And then the mass goes with the gram value of this compound. So we've got to get our calculators out, got to get our periodic tables out to see what the mass is of dextrose, C6H12O6. So let's see, I got... 6 times 12.01 plus 12 times the 1.008 and then plus 6 times 16. I get a exact number of 180.156. Cancel out the unit that you can, the one that's on the top and the bottom. And now it's just a simple division. 5 divided by that mass. And I'll say that this is 0.0. .0 two seven seven five and that's the number that goes on the top in the numerator of my molarity right so i got 0 0.02775 moles because that was my solute and maybe i'll just say this is c6h1206 that's the solute now we got to work on my solution but how am I going to do this? I got to go from grams to liters. Oh, grams to liters. We use the density formula, right? Whenever you need to use, go from a mass to a volume, it's always the density. That's why they gave you the density. Now we want to solve for the volume, right? We have a mass and we have the density. So if I just say D equals M over V, I have the density. I have the mass, and we're going to solve for the volume. Now, you can keep this formula and just work through this formula. Just for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to rearrange that formula and say my volume equals mass divided by density. But it's the same idea here. So my volume equals my mass, which was 100, and then my density, which was 1.029. Okay, so 100 divided by 1.029, 1.029, I get 97.18. Okay, now questions is, is this liters? Well, let's see, we got to go back to the density units. I put in a gram, right? I had grams, so what's going to come out? Oh, mils. Not liters, but we can do a we can do a quick conversion to go from milliliters to liters. How do we do that? Yeah, we just divide by one thousand. So take the ninety-seven point one eight and divide by one thousand. My new volume for the whole solution is zero point zero nine seven one eight, and now that's in liters. That's the number that goes on the bottom here. 0 0.09718 liters. And finally, I can now find the molarity because I have the moles of the solute and the liters of the solution. So 0 0.02775 divided by 0 0.09718. And I'm looking back at the question. I see that I have two sig figs here. So for for sig fig purposes, you should only have two sig figs, um, but I, I don't care, but your teacher or professor may. So I'm just going to leave them with the sig fig. So 0.29, and that's molarity. And there you go. That's the molarity of this D5W, 0.29. Guys, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments if you want. 
please hit the subscribe button. That will help us out. We're trying to get to 10K, so it'd be kind of awesome if we can do that. And that's all in your hands, guys. All right? So thank you for your support. It's really been a crazy journey. I would have never guessed that, you know, doing educational videos would get us to almost 10,000 10, subscribers. It's absolutely incredible. So thank you so much for that. But let's let's keep learning, okay? We got lots more to do. I'll see you guys in the next lesson and have a great day. Bye-bye.